Hi, and thanks for using OurChurch.com's WPEZ Website Builder. It's WordPress made easy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create, publish, and send a newsletter with WPEZ. Now, if you haven't already set up the newsletter on your website, you need to do that first, and we've got a separate video tutorial that shows you how to do that. But assuming that you have already done that, as I have, I'm going to show you how to create publish and send your send a new newsletter. So first thing we do is we go into our WPEZ dashboard and we go to more and go down to newsletter and you'll see we already have a default newsletter in here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new one. So we go up and we click add new and this is very similar to publishing a page or a blog post on your site. Um, so let's say um, we want to send out a, a newsletter here. We're just going to call it Great Opportunity for You. And then we type in, there's the text of our newsletter, blog. And so you can, of course, add as much text as you want in here and um, keep going. And you can add in media if you want to add a picture into your newsletter. You can do that. And when we have, you can even do some uh, personalizing if you want. You can um, put in things like the user's first name somewhere in the message. So if I wanted to say, hi, first name, I would just put something like that in. And when everything is set and ready to go, uh, we come over here to the right side and we click Publish. And um, before we do that, we may want to choose who we're going to send this to. So typically, you'll want to send it to newsletter subscribers. So we'll click there, and then we'll click Publish. All right. now. It is published, but it has not been sent yet. So the next thing we need to do is go over to More, go back to Newsletters, and here you'll see this is our new newsletter that we created, and it says no recipient selected, so let's try this again. We'll send it to all registered users just for the point of this. And update it. We'll go back to our list of newsletters. Alright, so now you'll see here that our total recipients are two. Now if we look over here at the newsletter status, um, we have to create a list of recipients still. This may seem redundant. But what we need to do is click on this. Um, if you want, you can send a test net, uh, newsletter to yourself. And then when you are fine with your newsletter as it is, you can either click Send Now or you can add it to the sending queue, which will send it at some point in a short distance in the future. So um, usually if you um, just have a you know, not a real long list. You go ahead and click Send Now. And then you'll see, there it goes. We sent to our two recipients. So we'll go ahead and close this out. And now you'll see, completed 100%. And you can even click in. And you can see total number of recipients, how many it's sent to, 
how many have been successful. Um, it will keep track if you've um, had any bounced. Um, unique views, it'll track how many people have viewed it and how many people have clicked on it. So that is how you do it. Oh, and one other thing that you can see now is if we go back in here and we go to our newsletter, now you'll see our newest edition is in the newsletter archives. So that's how you create, publish, and send a newsletter using WPEZ. Thanks for watching.